The manhunt does continue for the gunman. The community out there is on high alert right now. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Coop joins us from West Philadelphia with the very latest on this story. Dan, good evening. Yuki, good evening to you as well. After a rash of these types of crimes, has a community fearing escalation while the Philadelphia Police Department is looking for patterns. The carjacking just off St. Joseph University's campus occurred at 8.40 Wednesday night, according to police. We believe the uh, offender attempted to get the victim to uh, get someone to bring him his wallet uh, and, and possibly credit cards, things of that nature. But that didn't pan out, so the student drove his Ford to 52nd and Drexel Road with the carjacker, where he was able to escape. James Patterson was in his family room when the student turned up in his yard, pounding on his back window for help. When I saw him, I knew he was a student because um, there's been an escalation of situations in the neighborhood. Kids are walking back and forth to and from school. Unfortunately, they uh, were just another victim. Police say there have been six or seven like incidents in the area in the past several weeks. Their iPhones were taken from them also, and so it seems to be similar in terms of operation of the, the assailants that are involved in this. Michael Reed runs the community watch program in Winfield and wants neighbors to remain vigilant. We keep track of them. So we do the best we can, but uh, how are you going to stop crime? It, it's uh, abundant through, throughout the city and throughout the country, throughout the world. Police say other like incidents to this crime include not only St. Joseph's University students, but also high school students and a school teacher as well. Live tonight in West Philadelphia, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Dan, thank you very much.